This is part 9 of the motorcycle powered Fiat build. In this project we put a 1000cc motorcycle engine into this 1973 Fiat 850 Spider. In the last video we installed the fuel cell and the radiator. In this video we're going to figure out how to connect a motorcycle engine to the rear axle of a car. There are two main ways to do this. There's an easy way and there's an expensive way. My original plan was to go the easy route. So to do that, I had some custom sprockets made. I have the rear differential from the same Mazda Miata that I took all the suspension components from. And I have this axle shaft, which I was going to use to make a jack shaft. So I pulled the rear subframe out of the car and I got to work converting the Mazda Miata differential to chain drive. This is actually pretty easy to do. You just order a custom made sprocket that fits over the differential and has the right bolt pattern. Then you create a cover to go over the gears and hold in the grease. In this case, I used a piece of aluminum pipe. I welded a cap onto it, added a grease insert, added grease to the diff, put some sealant around the cap, sealed it all up, added some bearings, and there you have it. You have a chain drive differential. So now that we covered the easy way, let's talk about the expensive way. This company has some really good solutions for putting motorcycle engines into cars. Those solutions are quite expensive, but they do have several benefits. For one, you have the gear reduction enclosed inside of the gearbox. You also have a limited slip differential and you have reverse. But unfortunately, when I first looked into this, it looked like the wait time was gonna be at least six to eight months to get one of these, so I didn't do that. Then this one popped up on Facebook Marketplace. It was already in the US, so I didn't have to wait months to get it, and I got it for a few hundred dollars less than it would have been new. Now we need to make custom axles to connect the Ford Fiesta differential from this gearbox to the Mazda Miata hubs. To do this, I just cut up a Ford Fiesta axle and a Mazda Miata axle, and then I made this adapter to fit snugly on both axles. I welded the adapter to the two axle shafts, drilled some holes for plug welds, and welded them up. And now we have custom axles with splines on one side that fit a Ford Fiesta, and splines on the other side that fit a Mazda Miata. Will they work? I don't know, but if they don't, I'm gonna blame super fast Matt. It was his idea. I made up some custom mounts and brackets to hold the gearbox, two of which are adjustable so that I can adjust the chain tension, installed the axles, installed the Mazda Miata hubs, new brakes, and then reinstalled the engine. And there you have it. We have a complete engine and drivetrain all attached to this custom removable rear subframe. I also installed a push-pull cable to work the forward and reverse lever. The plan is to finish this thing up and have it running and driving in the next video. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss anything. Hey Walter, what's up buddy? Oh yeah, I've also been working on this.